time to change the spark plugs on your third gen Tacoma and you don't want to pay those crazy dealer fees, stick around and I'll show you how to do it. Remove the engine cover. Loosen the inlet hose. Use a pair of pliers to remove the PCV hose plant. A squeeze and remove the PCV hose. Now unplug the airflow sensor and release the wiring harness from the top of the lid. Now unclip the wiring harness. Now the entire assembly can be removed. Now use a 10 millimeter to remove the coils. One, two, three. and then use a spark plug socket to remove the spark plugs. There's a new spark plug. We'll just tighten that one down. Then we'll remove this bracket and do the other two. Remove this 10 millimeter bolt and remove the bolt from the back one. And then when you pull it out, it will give you access to the middle one. You may want to unplug this as well. Now you can flip this up and you have full access to the middle coil. All right, once all three spark plugs have been replaced, go ahead and reinsert your coils. Make sure you do the middle one first because you're not going to be able to get back to this bolt. Then do the back one, followed by this plug. And the front one. Now we're just going to put the three bolts back in and we're done with this part. For the driver's side of the engine, we're going to start by taking off these two brackets, which are going to be in our way. And that'll give us access to take off this rubber pad here. With those four bolts removed, you can take out the front bracket and just lay the back bracket down on its side. And now you have access to the spark plugs. This little pad is held on by this one bolt here. And with that removed, you can see the rear spark plug is right there. The middle one is right here. And the front one is right here. All right, this front one is a little tricky to get out. So I went ahead and unplugged the coil. I went ahead and released these hoses from these clamps. I also unplugged this sensor down here and disconnected this wire so that I can move them out of the way. So if you see spark plug holes down there, these things just need to shift around a little bit so you can feed it out. So now that it's out, we're just going to put our spark plug socket down in there and take the spark plug out. Now the easiest way I found to get that front one off is to use several extensions and get your socket wrench up high. It's pretty much a straight shot down to that spark plug hole. So now that that one's done, we're going to do this middle one and then this back one. Those should go pretty quickly because they are easy to access. Alright, to get to this middle one, I released this hose. And I used a pair of needlenose pliers under here to release this connector. We'll unplug this and then we'll slide it out. Alright, now for the easiest one. I'm just going to unplug the coil, slide it out, 
swap out the spark plug, slide it back in. Now that all three of the spark plugs on this side have been replaced, we're just going to put the bolts back into the coils, we'll get them hand tight, and then we'll tighten them down with a 10 millimeter. Okay, now we just have to reassemble everything. We'll start with this rubber pad, then we'll do this bracket, make sure to plug in that connector, and then we'll do the front packet, bracket, and then we'll be done with this side. Okay, now the driver's side is all buttoned up. So we can just put the engine cover back on and we're done. And the tools I use for the job are about as basic as they get. Just 10 and 12 millimeter sockets, a spark plug socket, a regular ratchet. The only thing that won't come in a regular toolkit is extra extensions. I would suggest using several extensions to get above the engine. Makes things a little easier. There you go. Hopefully you found that video to be useful. If you want to see more Tacoma related content, consider liking, subscribing, and check out this next video.